Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live right here from inside the main build facility above his exotic motorsports. It's Friday. I'm Tom, the ladies' man's off stage right. We all know the master Bub. Good morning, Bub. How are we doing today? Doing pretty good so far, man. I'm no, you're actually, not. No, you're not. Tell, say, just say it. <laughs> Listen, we're just going to move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, and we apologize for coming to you late today. So I'm just sitting here, and I was thinking about the fact that I was running a set of 295s on the back of this Benz, right? So this episode is just very quick overview of high-end luxuries, some of the key things that a lot of people down here in South Florida love to do to them. Our clients here, they have basic go-tos. Typically, you get these cars, they don't need much, but you always want to set the stance. You want to get them riding dirty on some wheels and tires, and you want to get those windows darkened up. That's really almost all that these things need, unless you're trying to get aggressive with it and do serious, serious power outers, which are very easy to do. This episode is brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you visit us for all your online parts and accessories. Rough Country, Rough Country is off-road suspension done Bubba style. We have to thank Tyler and crew for the new sponsor of the upcoming BEM Jeep JK build, Bub. Yeah, so uh, I just spoke to Tyler a few minutes ago, actually. Um, Tyler Groom's over at Rough Country. He is our contact that does anything Good and dude, everything man. that you could possibly imagine in terms of incredible builds here at BEM in all of South Florida. These things are insane, bro. So let me tell you, we have one that is going on behind the scenes right now. You guys will start seeing the Instagram posts of that, so please stay tuned to that, Instagram.com forward slash Bubba's exo Exotic Motorsports or instagram.com forward slash bub lloyd you'll see all of these behind the scenes going on crazy crazy things going on but let me tell you this would not be possible oh here comes a freaking wrecking ball jesus this would not be possible to even come close to happening without the guys over at rough country suspension jesus this guy's just wrecking everything so as you can see here this is a sneak peek of what is going to go down on this Jeep JK. This is this a, a sneak peek, ladies JK. and gentlemen, of what's going on this Mercedes Benz. No chance, bro. It's about 20 inches larger than the overall diameter of this 295 tire. So, what you are looking at right now, honestly, is a behind the scenes of a 40 inch by 1550 on a 24 inch rim. This is the setup that is going to go on the BEM Rough Country Jeep. This thing is insane, massive. Rough Country sending us in some serious stuff for this thing. That is they are not going to be outdone, are they, Bob? Listen, dude. <laughs> so we've been rolling out some serious, serious street queen Jeeps here lately. A lot of the Miami Marlins ballplayers Jeeps. And coaches. Let me tell you, dude. Those things are just, you, it literally, like, when you line these things up in a lot now and you look at them, you're like, holy crap, dude. These things are pretty freaking unique rides hitting the streets. Baseball stadium's looking pretty good. It's looking real good with Jeeps. So huh, thanks for giving this away. I wasn't ready to share this yet. You're welcome. Go figure. Go figure, uh, 40, 15, 50, 24 on a set of 24 inch by 14 inch wide moto metal wheels. These things are insane. They are massive. Jeep is probably gonna slow down by about 20 miles per hour. So top speed just went from 100 down to 80. Put a Whipple supercharger on it. I'm not putting a Whipple supercharger on it. That's if I do it, I'm gonna put an Edelbrock supercharger on it. That's, there you go, Bob, the Edelbrock supercharger. Where are you going with that? You're just gonna leave it over there now? I'm gonna leave it right there. How's that? Minus so, performance. minus 76 millimeter offset. Those wheels are serious. And let me tell you, by the time you guys see what we have going in terms of armor plating. <laughs> bro, come on. <laughs> Seriously. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. $2,000 a wheel and tire, and he's just going to go and freaking wreck them. <laughs> Go. So, on. ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank Tyler over there. We want to thank Kenny over at American Racing. We promised you a shout out. There it is, Kenny. Thank you very much, Kenny at American Racing. We appreciate it. And to Nitto USA, our other This whole episode is sponsor. sponsored by Nitto, essentially, because you've got to figure you just rolled in a sneak peek of that Jeep JK build that's going to be BEM and Rough Country. But also, riding on this S550 AMG package is a set of Asante black labels 22 by 10 and a half, 22 by 9s up front. This thing looks sick, all black, but has the chrome accenting everywhere along the way. So we wanted to do that Asante black label as well to have that same feature. Chrome lip, all removable. Those could be painted gloss black if some guys wanted to murder their rides out or also this machine face finish. Plenty of things that can happen here, but this is a perfect combo and touch to this S5. Yeah, absolutely, bub. You did want to go with the Nitto tires on this. This is, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit different uh, S-Class. This is what they call the chauffeur's edition. It's a longer car. These run for about $165,000 off the showroom floor. They're longer with complete 
uh, luxury packages in the back. These seats have vibrators, massagers, heaters, ventilation, the whole nine yards. They recline. It's just literally like riding around in a movie theater kind of setup. This new bus. Pretty good, man. So this car, Bub, you're wearing, you went with the Asani Black Labels, Bub, from Kenny and crew down there, and you went with the Nitto tires. Yep. Uh, because you wanted to stay with the quality and the ride capabilities of this tire. Tell me about the Nitto tire versus, for example, the Pirelli tires. Yeah, you know, it's uh, that's a really good question. We get asked that question a lot here at BEM. You know, we have a lot of clients. Some are very brand specific to tires. Some people won't, yes. you know, stray away if they've been running Toyos, for example, for a long time, or Pirellis or Michelins, or, you know, there's plenty of different great brands out there. Um, we, of course, are sponsored by Nitto Tire, yes. um, also a parent company of things like Falcon. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also get Pirellis and, and the full, you can get the full array of tires out there. Nitto is by choice. For me, my go-to brand, you know that I'm very brand specific, yes. especially when I can get things that are offered for a little bit of everything. You just saw everything from a high-end luxury vehicle, the Nitto Invos. This is a high-end, you know, kind of sport luxury tires, what you consider this one. Super smooth ride quality, great can handling characteristics, can plant power down, because trust me, some of these cars have serious power, um, but super, super comfortable, all the way up to the 40-inch Terragraph that That's you correct. just rolled off, set, and destroyed into the door. That's correct. So you have a little bit of everything. We also have all of our track cars, the Porsches. They are all on in the You're getting ready to move series over, compounds. Right? Um, stay tuned. Hold on. It happened to be that I didn't have the lug nuts on this yet because no. we just received these in. So a custom cut set of 17 inch by nine and a half inch snowflake wheels for of course a 700 horsepower Pro Touring Trans Am offset. Wrapped in, of course, the finest Nitto NT05Rs. We did go with the R series for the rear tire so it is a much more soft compound. This thing, once this car does start breaking loose and those heat up, it will it plant will it right back out into the ground. Grab. And we gotta thank Greg Ortega and the whole crew over there, man. They take really good care of helping us out with these things as well, Bob. So a crap ton of Nitto tires right now. Absolutely, Bob. The whole set, I think, is over there. I, you've got, you had new Nittos come in also, Bob, just offset for another project that you're doing, I believe, as well. That's right. What project is that? Uh, let's see, you got, oh, for your Porsche. Yes. The BEM uh, 911. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, we have plenty of them coming in. Um, we have a lot of great things. We love sticking with the Nitto brand. Of course, there are other great brands out there. Um, my personal choice is Run Nittos. They do offer something for a little bit of everything. Everything from on-road, just basic daily drivers, right? There's like a Nitto Motivo tire. You can get any of your basic stuff for even like the trucks, the Dura Grappler series, all terrains, all uh, highway seasonal, you know, everything you can imagine to extreme off-road, to extreme performance, to full track use. So it is a little bit of everything. It does give you a full product line. And what made you go with the Invos for this particular application? This is a twin turbo car. Uh, it is it is a performance luxury car. Yeah, the, Why the Invos as opposed to a Motivo or a Mud Grappler or um, whatever? One, one of two reasons. So one would be the fact that it's the size of the tire, right? So in, when you start looking into like the Motivo brands or the Motivo line, they don't have as much in terms of low profile, very slim like this. When you okay. start doing the larger, more modified wheel and tire packages, the more aggressive stances. Um, and that's what this is. This is on a 22, 10 and a half in the rear, 22, 9 in the front. So the stance is beautiful, adjustable air ride. This car is tucked right down on the ground. It looks beautiful, rides super comfortable yeah. on the factory ABC air ride from Benz. So it's a great stance, super quality ride. The Nitto Invo is perfect match for this car, the high-end sport slash luxury. Is, Bob, this is a, a kind of a, a sport uh, luxury tire you're mm -hmm. saying? The Motiva is more of a luxury tire, is that correct? Uh, more of kind of an all-season, just daily driver tire, you know, so if this car had like the factory AMG wheels, like a 1920 stagger, 1819 stagger, depending on what option you would have gotten with it, I would easily have that tire on here. Something a little more just soft, comfortable. This is more of that high-end luxury slash port, you know, sport luxury. Well, it also style. says a lot about the way you build too, Bob. You it's want to be retain, built right. You want to retain that factory feeling. Uh, there he is, ladies, man, ladies and gentlemen. You want to retain that factory feeling, that factory fit and function, but you want to look good as well. That's right. Um, in fact, you just had a 73 Camaro with a 427 come in uh, that was supposed to be a rotisserie car. Great guy, man, and it just didn't run proper. Yeah. Um, and you just, he's hes blown away. In fact, he went out of here sideways in three years. Yeah, that's um, actually pretty stout, dude. First through third, holding that 6,000 <laughs> on that rev limiter the whole way. He did bounce off of it, didn't oh, he? Oh, he was holding it hard. Yeah, he was. He, he can strong. drive. He yeah, no, drive. he can drive. If he held it that long, because those cars can start getting squirrely, he held in it pretty strong. Did you hear the compliment he paid you? 
I sort of did. He, absolutely, he said it's absolutely the best quality work he's ever received, hands down, bar none. Well, that's pretty and good. I said, and I said, go above that. He Quick said it took him a little around. bit longer than it wanted. And I said, yeah, but the problem was when you look at the fuel management system that somebody had had on that car, and it was terrible. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do some episodes on that stuff as well, some air fuel ratios, some tuning, um, you know, all key factors into any time you do performance-oriented vehicles. It doesn't matter if you're just doing basic bolt-ons. Um, you will see like this Jeep JK build for BEM and Rough Country. I actually forgot because I did go butt wild in terms of ordering. I forgot that I did do a full intake exhaust and tuning package. Totally forgot about that until I was just checking all my orders last night and I saw that somewhere through. Um, but I did order a whole setup there and we'll show you guys how to do those fun basic bolt-on installs that are just perfect for everyday performance gains. You're going to get increased torque, throttle response. Sometimes fuel economy, probably not so much with those wheels right, and tires. Yeah. That's going to be um, a show piece. But that's going to be something that you get into something that large of a wheel and tire, depending on your drive style and what your use is going to be, probably going to end up going into those front and rear diffs, change those gears out and get that thing a little bit more of a crawler so it does pull those, you know, that weight around, plus all of that armor plate. Oh, you can't just throw thing. wheels and tires on something? I mean, you could. Mr. Producer, you've got some questions over there or some shout outs. Good morning, Jack. Good morning. Jack, good morning up there in Canada. How you doing, man? How is the weather up there? Uh, uh, and how is, how is your Probably ride still cold. Up? Yeah, it's probably still cold, huh, Jack? So somebody else wants to know, is that your guy's ride? We do not divulge who these rides belong to. Uh, that is, that's really nobody's business. However, this is one of the S, uh, bi-turbo cars, and it's a beautiful machine. Yeah, they thought they saw Benz when they were here, so... Probably, they, they may well have. There's a lot of Benzes that come in and out of here. We oh. have a lot. Yes, this is <laughs> yeah. true. We do a lot of the Mercedes Benz cars. Yes. Who was it that I was asking that? What's the, what's the uh, person? Uh, that was Larry Williams. Larry, that's Larry Williams. Larry, Larry. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Williams from? Sunnyside Trim Shop. The only way to go. The only. Larry, you know it's a family car. Of course it is. Yeah. It's, Can you see it's, it's got a new taillight in the rear? Yeah. It's Robin, do you see the big scratch over here, Larry? Come on, man, you know better than that. <laughs> Worse than any of them right here. For the best upholstery in the industry, anywhere around the world, ladies and gentlemen, it is Sunnyside up in Georgia. It is where all of our vehicles go as well. The That's very right. best of the best. And Larry, and by the way, did you see the picture of his niece, I think it was, he posted? I saw it, yes, yes. Yeah, going was, to prom or something, that right? Was something cool, like that. That. Yes, that was very cool. That was very cool, Larry, that you said you were proud of her. That's very good. Gives me goosebumps. You're a great man, a great family man. Yeah, Super so listen, day. here's, let me throw something out there, key factor for some of you guys out there that are watching, or if you do come across this later on, one of the key things that people ask me in terms of especially Mercedes-Benz, but also in the Audi line, sometimes in the Porsche line, depending on the model that you have, a lot of guys are really, really like scared, you know, slash skeptical about lowering those cars, right, with factory air. So there are a lot of companies out there that sell computers for very Pay expensive attention, costs. ladies and gentlemen. This is very, um, very important. Very expensive costs associated with changing the body computers. So you can literally plug in laptops and adjust the ride stance to what specifically you would like, you know, one and a quarter inch. It'll down. cost you 10 grand. Yeah, typically you're looking north of that two, three, four thousand dollars, depending on some cars that are out there, some of the brands that are out there. Now, let me tell you an affordable, easy way, fully functional, no fault, no hassle, no issues at all. You can look at a company called Adjustable Ride Links, and these things are literally billet arms that attach from the upper control arm of the air ride suspension and they go on to the air ride sensor, the ride height sensor that tells the car what it's doing in terms of its height, in terms of the way the car is handling through corners, and it will self-adjust to that. These are adjustable versus the factories that Mercedes, for example, would put on that are just a pre-built, say, three inches long. If you wanted to lower this car a half of an inch, you would typically just extend that arm with the adjustable billet air ride lengths. You can extend that arm about a quarter of an inch. That'll get you about a half to three quarter at the wheel, at the wheel well height. And it literally tricks the sensor to thinking the car is just up higher when it's sitting at Total a cost of stand. making that happen, Bob? Yeah, typically you're in like the $500 range. Versus so, two to $3,000, ladies and gentlemen. So it's super affordable. It can always be returned to stock. It is very easy to do. It is retard proof. You can do it. You can set that stance. Don't get greedy with it, guys. Don't drop it down two inches. You Please. are taking a little bit of air out of the bags to do that because you are tricking the sensor into thinking it is at a different stance. But if you go in the safe range, the three quarter, the one inch, and typically that's all these cars need just to close in that 12 o'clock or six o'clock to 12 o'clock gap at the fender in the top of the tire, you typically need three quarters of an inch, an inch on these cars. They do sit pretty tight as they are from the factory. And then most of these cars will drop down at higher speeds, 70, 90 and above. They will come down even lower. So you want to factor in everything when you set that stance. Don't get greedy. 
they will ride sick. And let me tell you, this thing, we'll post up a photo of this after we are finished putting these wheels and tires back on. We'll post up a photo of that in front of the BEM wall, and you guys will see the stance is golden. It really is nice, Bob. Beautiful yep. job. By the way, we're going to have Larry over at Sunnyside. He's going to be doing an upholstery section in the new episodes over on Podcast One. Bob, we went live two weeks ago. The show has dominated the ratings already. We're over there with Laura Ingram, Shaquille O'Neal, Dr. Drew, um, Magic Johnson, all the big names over there, and Larry's going to be bringing that information over on a weekly basis. Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, last week, Bub, we had Paul and Todd from Everyday Driver on. That's right. Great dudes, man. They called us from Utah, and then they went out and did the uh, rally out there. Really good guys. Tomorrow, Bub, we have Rich McDonald on. And uh, who you, while you may not know Rich McDonald, you may know his father, Dave McDonald, who was very successful in the NASCAR, Bub, and the Corvette racing circuit. So that he had four very uh, circuits. He had uh, four very successful years of racing in front of him, and his life was tragically taken away from him in the Indy 500 in 1964. Mm -hmm. He was uh, the, one of the winners with, he was one of the first winners, if I correct me if I'm wrong, with the Super Performance cars and the Shelby's, Bob? That's right, yeah, now he's uh, he's actually with Super Performance now, his overseeing son's with that Super design to make right. sure that the Carroll Shelby design continues. That's it, so his son, right, Dave, uh, Rich McDonald, correct? Yep. His son, Rich, took over his dad's legacy and stayed with uh, the Superformance cars, the GT40s, the Shelbys, and the Daytonas. What's the difference between the Shelbys and the Daytonas, Bob? Uh, in terms of what? In terms of what those platforms were in their day. What were they? They were different cars with different names and badges. Well, Carroll Shelby, so the designer of both. So you still had the, you had the Daytona, which was like that fastback style coupe design. Correct. But then you also had the Shelby, the known Shelby, which was just the two-door Closed style cockpit. car, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's correct. That's a good, good, good separation. One is a closed cockpit car. The Daytona. You've done a couple of those right. in your career for the Andreas. And the Super Performance kits, by the way, are just legit. They are. Yeah. Super Performance. Legit. Yeah. So we're going to have Rich McDonald on tomorrow. We're going to be talking about that family history uh, and how he's kept that legacy alive. Going to be pretty cool, man. All right. Want to thank Kirsten, the, the booking uh, our, our booking talent. Uh, uh, contact over there at Podcast One. She brings us in all kinds of great guests, man. Yep. Yes, sir. We have another question from Larry. Yes, sir. What are your thoughts about adding a performance chip to, say, my wife's 2009 328XI BMW? Okay, so, Bub, that's for you. Larry Williams, the official repulsor of Bubba's Exotic Motorsports up there in Georgia, wants to know about adding a performance chip to his wife's 328XI, correct? Yeah, man. So I'll tell you what, Larry, anytime you can do performance upgrades to today's vehicles, modern vehicles, you are going to see gains. Um, typically in terms of, you know, more of the modern performance, not so much like the early 90s stuff. Yeah. You put stuff on there and sometimes you got a little different, sometimes you didn't. But today's vehicles are proven, man. These things come from factories. They are tuned. Very nice, but also still very restrictive in terms of their power and performance. Also, their responsiveness. That's, that's a key one there. Porsche has a big issue with that, and a lot of their clients aren't too happy about it because of how mushy the throttle feels in those cars when they do produce tons of power and torque. But you do a simple tune, a plug-in tuner, you can download a custom map, maybe you have a custom air intake on there, maybe a different exhaust. If not, you can still do a tune, just be better if you had a little bit more flow on that air side as well because the tune is going to change everything in the ignition parameters, also in the fuel system delivery. So it is going to change a little bit, you want to make sure you enhance some airflow there. But I'll tell you what, you do gains like that, the throttle response, the torque, the power band, the way the car just moves through its gear range is incredibly different. It really is. Buddy. Big time. Yeah. Good question, Larry. Very good question. And for any of your upholstery needs around the world, it is Sunnyside up there in Georgia. Look them up. They are on the web. You can go straight to our website. They're linked in to us as well. The best of the best of the best. You cho you could choose anywhere in the world, Bob, and it's where you choose to be with your upholstery work. That's right. It's crazy, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap it up for this episode of Doing It Bubba Style. It is Friday. We're going to clean it up around here and get out of here around 3 o'clock. Head for that gym today, Bob. I'm leaving at 3. If you're not ready, I'm driving without you. Yes, every day. By the way, he left without me standing here in the parking lot yesterday while I was still here working, ladies and gentlemen. That is not true at all. I sat in my car and waited for you because you yelled at me. And then he left me sitting in the park. And you say that you're always the one waiting for me. So what am I doing? Sitting in my car with the AC running, idling, and I'm drinking my pre gym. And you tell me that I'm behind. What? See you later. And he only goes to the gym for literally like 17 minutes. I'm, I'm literally on warm up, still stretching, and he's literally changing clothes, leaving. What's the freaking point in that? It's, you gotta be I don't know where you're rushing off to, but it's not, not anywhere I know about. What do you want me to say to that? I mean, no I, answer. No answer. I'm, it's actually 45 minutes. That's all I need in the gym because I'm a rock star. Yeah.
total beast mode over there. Right. This episode's been brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. Stay tuned to that shot. GTX one that we've done some crazy body mods on. Wow, I'm sure people man. have been seeing it on Ooh. Instagram. Have you watched what our producers put up? Yeah, no, I haven't really watched much. I've been so freaking busy lately, dude. That car is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Ladies and gentlemen, that GT4. Oh, Bob's gonna bring you the top over to see the G G GT40. Larry, you'll remember this. Uh, when you were here last couple weeks ago, you'll remember the top that was all in primer and Bob was fabricating. Hey, are the stripes straight or what? Probably crooked because he's holding it higher than me, isn't he? Typical. So I'll tell you what, man. Full carbon top, custom built and designed right here at BEM. This thing came fresh out of paint uh, yesterday, this morning, actually. So I probably shouldn't be squeezing on this too hard, but I am. I'll tell you what, man. The quality of it came out perfect. The fitment on that GTX one is sick. That is the full concept version of the GT40 Ford. So huge following out there. Big, and again, Gotta we're go. going to have Rich McDonald on tomorrow who keeps that legend alive, ladies and gentlemen. This episode has been brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. It's Sunnyside Trim Shop. For all your trim shop and all of your upholstery needs, it is Sunnyside Trim Shop, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Outlaw Boutique, the moose is loose on the internet, Bub. In fact, the uh, moose and her mom and uh, mom's niece are running around the African safari or something. It's called today. Lion Safari. Yes, sir. Lion Country Lion Safari. Lion Country Where you safari. can see monkeys and tigers and giraffes and zebras. Do you think they'll get eaten? You can actually feed the giraffe. That's pretty fun. I always get in trouble for going through the lion safari with the windows down. Yeah, I know, because it definitely says, do not roll your windows down when you get in a lion den. It's not the window, the, the lions I'm worried about. It's the white rhinoceros on my tail. I don't worry about them. No? I'll tell you what, though, this BEM Rough Country Jeep would look sick, dude. If we did some photos down there when it's I done. I think Miss Outlaw's park, doing it. Park like nasty and stuff, but then you have two tigers sitting in the background. Huh. Miss Outlaw. Gonna, hey, who's going to pull a Jeep in there and then get out and run away so you can take the photos? I'll do it. I mean, we can zoom with a big lens. It's funny because they're sitting there yelling at me with my, their windows down. I know. They're rolling their window down to yell, yell at you at with your window down. How about that? I don't get it, dude. I'll tell you what. Miss Outlaw, the stunning supermodel, Layla Von Athey, will be doing a uh, shoot, a photo shoot with the BEM Rough Country 2 Jeep. It's going to be amazing, Bob. That's right. It's pretty amazing. I got to go. I got to get out of here. I have a lot of work to do. This is taking like 46 hours to get today's show done, by the way. And I'm not kidding by that. We started this like 8 this morning. Uh, just Larry, it, I'm, I'm telling you, it was our producer's fault this time. He was supposed to have it set up. Man, we had dead batteries, we had busted microphones, we had scratchy, fuzzy McDuzzy on the uh, the, the quarter inch cable thingy. Man, I'll tell you what. Bad. Yeah. What happened? Listen, you know it's bad when we don't have our other mics on. See? Not right here. Old school. Old school. But it still works, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you join us tomorrow for Rich McDonald, Bub from uh, the Super Performance uh, uh, Program. It's going to be a great show. He's going to call in for that. 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Kirsten's doing a great job over there. Our booking, uh, our talent agent over there is bringing in a lot of great people. I am trying to knock on Billy Gibbons' door from ZZ Top and bring him in as well as Magic Johnson and Shaquille O'Neal, both car guys, Bub. All right. Until tomorrow, Bub. Just keep on doing it, Bubba style. So it's brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. Sunnyside Trim Shop, ladies and gentlemen, for all of your upholstery needs. It is Sunnyside Trim Shop. Miss Outlaw Boutique, the moose is loose on the internet, ladies and gentlemen. All new now. Make sure you join her there. MissOutlawBoutique.com. Rough Country. Rough Country is off-road and on-road suspensions done Bubba style. American Racing Wheels and Tires and Netto Tires as well. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for all of the, for that you guys do. Ladies and gentlemen, join us tomorrow from 9 to 10 a.m. for the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports podcast, Doing It Bubba Style, now heard on the new Podcast One Network, where you'll find other great uh, artists over there and celebrities, Shaquille O'Neal, Laura Ingram, uh, Penn and Teller, Dr. Drew, all of those people are right there, and they're good people. Bud, you got to talk into the mic. That's why I spoke up. Did you? Yeah. The ladies' man would like to remind you, please reach out to touch somebody's life in a very positive manner today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open the door for somebody who's got their hands full, shall we? Let's choose somebody who's got holes in the bottom of their feet. In fact, these shoes, ladies and gentlemen, have no holes, as you'll see, and they came from a Miami Marlin player as a way of saying thank you for all we do for them. They're actually Under Armors, and I wear Nikes all the time, Bob. What are you wearing over there? Under Armors? Those are also from that same gentleman. That's because he has a contract with Under Armour. Oh, he... This particular Marlin has a contract with Under Armour and will not see Nikes coming through from him. Right, Bob? Like, we're not allowed to drink anything but Monster. 
Would you wrap this show up, dude? And make sure you feed somebody that's on the corner hungry with the sign that says, we'll work for food. Let's make sure we touch somebody's life in a positive way. Remember all these beautiful animals that have been brought into our lives? You can see the ladies' man lives a tough, tough life. Until tomorrow at 9 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen, from 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with special guest, Rich McDonald. Let's keep on doing it. Bubba style. Little man, you ready to grab something to eat, dude?